Hello! So today this video is going to show you how to create a CIC account on the Government of Canada website. So you're going to go to www.cic.gc.ca and I'm going to select English and then under services and information you're going to select my application and then sign in or create an account. So there are two options for creating an account. You can use the partner option if you have an online bank account with a Canadian bank. I do not have one, so I'm going to select the GC key option where we will create our own username and password. And on this page, you're going to go right over here to sign up and accept the terms and conditions. So here's where you will create your username. Your username cannot be previously used and you must take a photo of your username here so you have it for when you will need it to sign in again. So you can go ahead and create that. There is also a checklist over here that tells you the requirements for your username. So just make sure that your username checks off all of those requirements. And then select continue. And here's where you will create your password. Again, you need to take a photo of your password here for when you will need it in the future. There is also a password checklist over here and it's important to note that your password cannot contain three consecutive characters from your username. So then continue. And here are your recovery questions. You also need to take a picture of your recovery questions and answers for when you need them again in the future. I'm just using sample answers, but you will use real answers. So there you go, it says successfully created your account. So there is your, your username, make sure to take a photo of it. Then select continue. Terms and conditions again, I accept. And then it's going to take you here to where you need to enter your name. So enter your name as it is on your passport. If you are from India and you only have a given name, that name will go here under last name, so you will leave your given name blank. And select continue. Then you come to your security questions. You will also need to take a picture of your security questions and answers for again in the future when you will need to use them again. And again, I am using sample questions and answers, so you make sure that you use proper questions and answers. So here you go. This is the end where your applications will be once you have started them. Please ensure you have taken photos of your username, passwords, and all your questions and answers for when you need them for applying for different things in the future. If you are seeking help from the International Center, please create your account ahead of time so that you are ready to go. Thanks for watching.